In this video lesson, I would like to go through an island with you. So rather than it being a pocket and cleaning it up, I now have an area that I want to clear the outside. But it's the same thing. And hopefully a good majority of these videos, if you've been watching them in order, they're all going to start going faster because um, we're just going to start repeating a lot of the same processes. So I don't want you to see this any different than a pocket. And it almost amazes me in the cam that they still call them pockets and those types of things because I use the exact same tools to clean up islands as I do pockets. So it's really just 2D adaptive roughing and 2D roughing. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Tool isometric, setup, move my work coordinate system, and no additional stock. Okay, so what do I mean by it being the same? Um, it's just going to be a 2D adaptive to clean everything up. I'm going to leave 20 thousandths on the walls. I'm going to leave 20 thousandths on the floor. My 2D pocket's going to clean up the floor. And the 2D contour is going to clean it up. So why don't I just run through it really fast um, and you kind of anticipate what it is that I'm going to do and which one is the defaults I'm going to change. So 2D adaptive and let's get started. Okay, there we go. There's our 2D adaptive. The only thing that's going to be a little bit unique here is I'm not a big fan of all of these lifts. These yellow lines, they are rapid retracts and plunges. So it has to do with this climb milling. I've got everything going in one direction. So when it makes one pass, it actually lifts up, it rapids back down to the other end, and then makes another pass. and does the same thing, lifts up. And if you've got a machine that has nice rapid movements at, at high speed, then that's all fine. But unfortunately, my machine doesn't. So what I would rather do is just get those micro lifts um, to happen more often. So I'm going to come back into my 2D Adaptive. I'm going to go to the very last tab, and it's the stay down least is what's affected by this lift height. So I'm going to go into this lift height, or this stay down least level, and I'm going to go 40 to 50%, somewhere around there. And as soon as I do it, so let's do the 40%, you'll see that I have a lot less of those yellow stripes going up and down. Now, I still have a couple of them when it's a really long distance. So when it's coming around here, it's lifting up, then wrapping back. But instead of the rest of them lifting up so high, it's just going to do that 40,000, 60,000 to lift, and then go over, and you get to control how fast that is. Um, so right now I'm at a no engagement of 24 inches per minute. So if you've got a maximum on your machine, then you can now control that as your rapids. So if you can go up to 40 inches per minute, then you can change that to 40. If you can go up to the hundreds, then you could change this no engagement up into the hundreds. But instead of retracting all the way back up, it'll now just barely lift up, then wrap it over, and then come back down. So let's just take a look at that. So simulate. And play. Now, it should have done the same thing. It should have left us blue on the floor and should have left us blue on the wall. Awesome. So now it's just going to be repeating the other processes. So the 2D pocket, we'll go ahead and repeat everything else. And it really doesn't matter if you put these ramping angles. Since it's an island and not a pocket, it's not going to do any of these anyways. There's not a helix on the outside because it's not trying to create a pocket for itself or an entry area. So we've got our 2D adaptive. We've got our 2D pocket that's cleaning up the floor. And then it's 2D contour time. And that should be it. So we'll go to setup. That way it will simulate all three of them.
do our par comparison. And there we go. No blue. That's exactly what we want. So we've still got a 2D adaptive with a 20% tool engagement or optimal load. Um, we've got a 2D pocket with a 50% step over. And we've got our 2D contour. That's it. So doing islands is not really that much different than trying to do pockets. Um, everything really works still the same. Um, nice part is we really don't have the helixes because it's not creating a pocket. It can start outside the park, as you can see it does here on this 2D adaptive. And that's it.